welcome everyone, it's Matmus here. Thank you so much for joining me today on this video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So today we are talking a little bit about the Brimstone Missile. Yes, once again we are stepping away from gaming a little bit and discussing a little bit about the military topics in the background that have been going on in defense news. And recently I stumbled across an article about the Brimstone Missile. Now if you don't know about the Brimstone Missile, I will quickly go over its rough features right now. Uh, so you can kind of get a broad overview. But specifically what I want to talk about in this video today is a rather interesting clip that was developed by the people who actually produced this missile. And it just looks absolutely fantastic. It kind of goes over a broad overview of the weapon system itself and kind of the features it has. And I thought the video was really cool and I thought you guys might want to check it out. But first of all, let's just quickly go over exactly what the Brimstone is all about. So first of all, clearly we all know what the Apache helicopter is and how well it does its job. I mean, it's a fantastic piece of equipment, clearly combat tested. In fact, this particular aircraft has helped me many occasions on my tour and operations in Afghanistan. And honestly, I would say this particular piece of equipment has potentially saved my life or friends that I have known within the combat environments that I've been in. So I can touch my heart right now and say that this aircraft is just fantastic. It has supported me well and supported people I know well and I'm sure many of you out there who have served alongside this particular aircraft know that too. And it clearly is just a fantastic piece of equipment. Now this video is not to... let me put the word straight here, is to not you know belittle other countries weapon systems and other countries opinions on particular weapon systems. I'm not saying that the Apache helicopter and this particular missile system is the best in the world and it's hands down better than any other equipment out there. It's not what I'm trying to do at all. I understand there are many viewers of my channel who uh, don't like biased opinions and don't like to hear about, you know, one-sided stories of particular weapon systems and such. This is clearly not what this video is about. It's purely informative just to let you guys know that, you know, this kind of equipment exists. Um, but really, in my own personal opinion, I do find the Apache helicopter to be a fantastic piece of equipment. Uh, I'm not going to say it's the best or better, but it is fantastic, and I will personally, from my own experience, say it's a great piece of kit. With that being said, though, the Hellfire missile, which is currently being adapted by the Apache helicopter by multiple countries, um, has actually become to the point where it needs to be updated, upgraded to a better system. Uh, and the Brimstone missile is kind of the advanced anti-armor missile that's kind of been developed to try and uh, alleviate some of the issues that the Hellfire missile has had in the past. So quickly I'm going to go over the uh, the overview of the Brimstone and then we'll go into the video itself which I found was actually fantastic. So the Brimstone is the advanced anti-armor missile developed by M. BDA, formerly Alina Marconi Systems, with Boeing as a primary sum contractor. Entered pre-production development program in 1996 and it began quantity production in late 2004. Brimstone entered service with initial operational capability on the United Kingdom Royal Air Force Tornado GR Mark IV aircraft. Fantastic jet guys, gorgeous jet, in March of 2005. Following a series of highly successful batch and service evaluation trials, its full operational capability was achieved in December 2005. The system has operationally been deployed on the Tornado Geo 4 aircraft in Iraq and Afghanistan in many, many operations and tours. So the weapon system does have a dual mode seeker. In May 2008, the United Kingdom RAF decided an urgent operational requirement for an upgrade to the dual mode seeker in order to give the missile system a man in the loop capability to reduce the possibility of collateral damage. The Royal Air Force placed an order with MBDA for an additional Brimstone missiles in December 2010 and a further order in August 2011. MBDA de delivered about 500 missiles and finished off that delivery in February 2012. MBDA received about a £35 million contract from the UK Ministry of Defence in November 2013 to supply the Brimstone missile for five years. Brimstone can be ground or air launched. Ground launch missile firings have been successfully carried out at the Yuma Proving Grounds in Arizona, United States. The system can be fired from a fixed or mobile ground launcher and was proposed for installation on a cancelled UK Tracer Armoured Scout and Reconnaissance Vehicle project. When air launched, the missile meets and exceeds Royal Air Force requirements for a long-range anti-armor weapon, giving fighter aircraft the standoff capability of destroying tanks and armored assets deep behind enemy lines. 
Brimstone is being integrated into the Royal Air Force fleet with the Tornado GR4, GR4 Alpha and the Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft along with the Apache Longbow and will replace the RBL 755 cluster bombs. The small size and weight of the missile allows it to be integrated onto a wide range of helicopters and fixed wind aircraft including the FA-18. The Brimstone is a fully fire and forget system requiring no further interaction from the launch platform or post target launch designator. After leaving the launcher, the solar propellant rocket motor accelerates the missile to supersonic speed. This motor has a short bird time and a very low smoke emission, providing a very low visual and infrared signature, minimizing the probability of detection by hostile sensors. In the event of a group of hostile armored vehicles being identified on the battlefield, multiple brimstone missiles can be fired in a salvo. The missiles can fly out from a single platform and spread out to cover a large area. Where hostile forces have in-line formations of armoured vehicles, brimstone can be flown down the same corridor to attack the formation. Engagement algorithms in onboard computers reduce the probability of more than one missile hitting the same target. In addition, the fire command and control system can allocate individual missiles to engage sequentially numbered valid targets. During the surge phase of the missile flight, the Wave Seeker carries out a sweep search for targets on the ground directly ahead and to each side of its path. For low collateral damage control, the missile can be programmed not to initiate target search until it has passed a given point. This allows Brimstone to safely overfly friendly forces. Brimstone can be programmed to cease target search before a determined engagement area or to accept a target only within a specified area. Embedded algorithms can be told to attack only valid targets with a specified area and this high selectivity allows Brimstone to target armored vehicles and ignore other thick moving assets, such as houses or cars. It is also possible to program the missile to engage targets with a specific radar signature, for example patrol boats. The missile is fitted with a programmable self-destruct mechanism. Brimstone is armed with a tandem high explosive anti-tank warhead capable of penetrating explosive reactive armor. The front charge initiates the explosion of the armor and clears the path for the main charge to penetrate it with an anti-tank jet dart. Brimstone 2 missile upgrade, an improved version of the Brimstone missile, features new airframe, a better wave radar with semi-active laser dual mode seeker capability, an insensitive munition, rocket motor and warhead, i.e. if it gets hit by something it won't explode. It was fired at fast targets with a telemetry system in October 2013 and fitted to a Typhoon aircraft for the first time in December 2014. Production of Brimstone 2 missiles began in July 2014 and the missile is expected to enter service with the United Kingdom Royal Air Force in 2018. So let's quickly look at what we're all here for, the MBDA actual promotional video, which is really, really cool to watch. I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll talk about it afterwards. Enjoy.
Now, before I go ahead and comment on this video, I do want to remind you that this video is not trying to be biased towards Eastern Western relations and who's a better than better. Because at the end of the day, there is, you know, Eastern vehicles that have been perpetrated and engaged in this particular video, and we're not trying to touch on that. It's purely just there for, I'm sure, you know, it's going to be there for an example. So please don't take it to heart. Uh, those of you who are from other countries, it's just purely the way it is for this particular example. But overall, it looks pretty impressive. I mean, the Hellfire system clearly is getting a uh, bigger brother coming in to take the take the place. This isn't news. It isn't brand new. It's been out for quite some time. This video kind of uh, was interesting to watch, showing its key features and how it works. A little bit different than the Hellfire system. Uh, and as a you know, a tank fan and a tank guru. This really puts the hairs on the back of my neck to stand up because it is worrying to know that you know tankers out there could be taken out by these kind of weapon systems quite simply from a helicopter peeking out from behind a wood line and taking you out. And it is pretty nerve wracking for crews out there, I'm sure, knowing going into a combat situation that not just the Apache helicopters and the Brimstone, but you know other countries and their weapon systems have got very similar sort of weapon systems to engage them with. And you know I'm I hate to say it, and I know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying this, but Tanks are eventually going to be to the point where it's going to be a stalemate. We're not going to be able to produce tanks that can defend themselves against such systems like this because the age of the tank will eventually be some so, somehow superseded by something else. What it may be, I have no idea. Um, I think that's just a reality of the situation. I don't want tanks to go. I really don't. I have no, no, no interest in seeing tanks come off the battlefield. But, you know, I, I just look at in terms of the way technology is progressing and, you know, the way that things can be engaged for up to 10Ks away without, you know, doing anything. It's just, you know, air superiority seems to be the way forward nowadays in terms of engaging ground targets. Of course, there's always going to be a need for ground targets and ground uh, vehicles on, on the battlefield. But at the end of the day, weapon system, systems like this make it a lot more difficult for those systems to be put in play and to actually engage at the target. So overall then this missile is clearly going to be quite a game changer for the uh, you know Royal Air Force and uh, the British Army if they do manage to implement this for their Apache longbows also. Obviously the Americans have a very keen interest in this weapon system too. Like I said it's not really new, this isn't brand new, it's uh, slowly being developed into the point where it will be phased into United Kingdom Armed Forces between 2018. Of course, this sort of weapon system will probably be brought in for um, the Apache Longbow full time. Whether or not it's been utilized right now, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure that they're still running with the Hellfires. Uh, I know a lot of people get pissed off when I say I'm not sure. Well, do you know what? I'm sorry, but uh, uh, from what I've been looking in terms of research, they're still using the Hellfires. So I know they're going through trials with the Brimstone, but in terms of actually usage of the Hellfire, then. I think they're still running with that. Um, but anyway, guys, really appreciate you guys watching today. I hope you have a fantastic day. Please feel free to leave a comment and some positive or negative feedback. I completely understand if this isn't the kind of video for you. Um, but I do ask that you try and give a little bit of respect if you are going to give some sort of feedback. Uh, I don't really appreciate the old insultive comments and such, but it is what it is. If you want to be a troll, then go ahead. I totally, totally understand it. Um, but apart from that, thank you again. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. All the best and have a great day. Bye-bye.